All right, let me get us plugged in here. We are about to go over our unit three practice test. Hopefully, or not unit three, maybe unit four. I don't know, just one of these things that all is kind of running together. All right, now, this one, please don't miss this one. It's very simple because we have y equals mx plus b. I have, don't know if you know this, but this stuff is open notes. Come on, guys. All right. So here's our M. So we're looking for a negative 2. Well, that's not it. We've never seen something like that. Nope. The negative 2 is beside the X, and the 6 is right there. That should be your choice. Okay, I know these are shuffled, but... That should be it. Okay, moving on. All right, match the information using, following using the information provided. Words are hard. All right, so we have y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. All right, so all we have to do, here's our m, here's our x1, here's our y1. All we have to do is plug this in. All right, so we should have y minus 1 equals negative 1 fourth, parenthesis, x minus 4. All right, so that's this one right here. All right, to get it in the slope-intercept form, we have to take this and solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute right here x, and this is going to be a plus. Now, 1 fourth times 4, believe it or not, uh, the 4s go away, and we're left with 1. And then to solve this, we add 1 to both sides. And we should get y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 2, which is this one. I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of the practice test was a lot of matching. Uh, I like those. I can set those up easier for uh, to be graded. And um, it works out for everybody. So that's basically it. This is some of very similar stuff that we've done before uh, in years past with Algebra 1. It's just in a different format. I like this format better personally. All right, kind of the same type problem. All right, here's our x1 this time. Here's our y1. So point slope form, we're just going to have y minus 4. So you can basically, if you are using test taking skills and knowledge, you can basically count this one out. So there's only one other choice, okay? And it's going to be this right here. Now, remember, you have to clean that up because you can't have x minus negative 1 right there. That becomes plus positive, okay? So this is a choice. All right. Now, our other two choices, they look very similar. They're supposed to. OK, just like it would on the ACT or something like that. So we're going to I'm going to go ahead and distribute down here. We're going to have negative two X minus two. All right. We got to add four to both sides. So we should get Y equals negative two X plus two. Uh -huh. And that's it. OK, so what's kind of neat is from this, I can test you on the point slope form and see if you can solve for the slope intercept. It kind of is scaffolded, believe it or not, in this test and practice test. All right, now we got to ump it up a little bit. There's three things you got to do. There's multiple choices. Pay attention. Some of these are written with the right stuff. Some of it's written with the wrong stuff. So if you mess up at the very beginning with the slope, you're kind of messed up all the way at the end. I know, just me and Mr. Jeffries. All right, remember, it's going to be these two up top when you subtract them, these two on the bottom when you subtract them, and it doesn't matter the order. So I have negative 7 minus 2 over negative 1 minus 2, and I get 3 as my slope. Well, pay attention. We know that's not going to be 1. All right. Ah, oh, so we may not mess up all the way. Now, it says point slope form using this. So there's my x1, there's my y1. Excuse me. 
excuse me. So we should get, now when we plug these in, these are minus and negative, so we got to change these to positive. So it's going to be y plus 7 equals 3 parenthesis x plus 1. This one, not that one. Okay. Now, two more choices. Again, we got to, you know, distribute and solve for y here. So we're going to have y plus 7 equals 3x plus 3 minus 7 from both sides. We have y equals 3x minus 4. There we go. Okay. So please pay attention to the problem. Don't sit there and go all willy-nilly and crazy. And just click, 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 click. Okay. I know some of y'all have done that on the star test before. This is in a star test. Okay. Not a star test. All right. Same thing here. So we're going to set it up the same way. All right, so the 9 and 18 are on the top. Doesn't matter which order you do it in. I'm going to do it as this 9 minus negative 18 on top. And I'm going to have negative 3 minus 6 on the bottom. I get negative 3. Okay, think about it. If you look at all your choices right here, none of them have negative one third as a slope choice. Pay attention to the problem. Some of y'all will choose that and then y'all do something different. I know I'm going to get an email. Mr. Jeffries, this choice ain't on here. It's because Derek, you're doing it wrong. All right. <clears throat> Here's our X1 and Y1. So we're going to have Y. Whoa. Not that. Shucks. Y minus 9 equals negative 3. So that's my slope. Now, <clears throat> goodness, allergies. Can't have minus negative three, so we actually have to say plus three right here. So if we look at our choices, that one's not it. This is our choice, okay? So if you know stuff about things and you're paying attention, hopefully you'll do well. And I don't understand why people don't do well on this practice test because you get two chances to do it. And after the first time you do the test, it actually gives you the right answers. Why are you not writing them down? Cheese and crackers, people. All right, those go away. So I'm just left with y equals negative 3x. Okay. Yes, some of these are set up kind of kooky. I'm used to having kooky students. Okay. All right, matching the graphs. I didn't write the stuff down here or grab it because I didn't want to. All right, so this is our B and that's gonna be two. So we're knowing we're gonna have Y equals something X plus two, okay? Now, to get from here to here, I went over one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, up two. So it's actually two over five x and that would have been one of your choices i just didn't grab it because i didn't want to all right this one down here our b is four okay i know it's going to be negative because it's going down from left to right okay so to get to here i went down to over one two three four five six <gasps> Wait, 2 over 6 reduces to 1 third. Okay, remember, you have to simplify your slope. And if you're paying attention, that point right there is also right there. <laughs> All right, just find the x and y intercepts. Yes, lots of choices. Write as ordered pairs. Well, you don't have to really write the order. You just got to click and drag. Hopefully, you can do this right. So the x-intercept is the hardest thing to find on this one because remember, we got to cover up the y. Okay, so I'm going to cover up this y term. <gasps> x equals negative 10. Okay, so if x equals negative 10, as an x-intercept, that's going to be negative 10 comma 0 because it's on the x-axis. There's our choice. Okay, not that one. All right, for our y-intercept, we cover up x and we solve. So we're going to have negative 5y 
equals negative 10. Side by side, you must divide. Okay, so y equals 2. And as a coordinate point, this is going to be 0, 2 because it's on the y axis. So not that one. This one. Okay. I mean, I'm giving you the cheat codes. Same thing. All right. So if we cover this up, all right. So we have 8x equals 64. Divide by 8, divide by 8, we get x equals 8. So not that one. 8 comma 0. And if we cover up our x to find y, so we have negative 4y equals 64. Divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. We get y equals negative 16. So this would be 0, negative 16. Okay? Pay attention. Mm. Lots of stuff. Some choices are going to be used twice. Now, the easiest thing, remember, it's going to be vertical when it's x equals a number. It's going to be horizontal. when it's y equals a number, okay? And it's neither if it has both x and y. So this would be neither, and this would be neither. Okay, this one definitely is going to be vertical because it's x equals. I know it's a little backwards, okay? So this is vert. All right, this one right here, pay, I can't say pay attention enough. You could actually add two to both sides and you get y equals two. Yeah, you got to think a little bit. How dare I make you think? How dare you? Oh, that's it. Okay, kind of short and sweet. Um, try to get a lot of it all, all together. Um, but that's it. Uh, that's our little practice test. And hopefully you did well. I, I don't know if you are watching these videos or not for the practice test because we have our live sessions that day. But if you watch the, the videos, they usually answer questions that people ask during the um, live sessions. That's okay. It's all right. See you later. Roll tight.